again everybody, Fiber Spider here with another origami tutorial for you. And today we have a rather cute and dapper little fellow. A hamster. Yeah. He's really cute, isn't he? Little nose, little ears, little tiny stub of a tail, little feet. Stands up very nicely. Very easy to make, actually. Now, unlike a lot of the other origami tutorials that I've done previously, you will actually need a pair of scissors, and that is to separate his ears later. And of course, as always, he has a little friend, because they all need little friends, right? So, I made a bunch of these, actually. They are just so stinking cute. I love them. And... It does say that it's a hamster. I don't know. I mean, to me, it almost makes me think of, you know, just a, a rodent in general. Uh, could be more of a hedgehog or a guinea pig. I don't know, but I think he's adorable. At any rate, without further ado, let's get started. Alrighty, so first things first, we're going to make some preliminary folds with the colored side facing down going to start by folding our piece into a triangle. Now, of course, you could use a piece of regular paper that is the same color on both sides, but to get really the effect, it helps if you have uh, colored on one side and white on the other. So after folding it into a triangle, open it up, turn it, and do the same thing in the opposite direction. There we go. Okay, so now we are going to make his muzzle. And we're going to take just the, the top layer and fold it down so that this point connects with the crease line. And what I have found, oh, and my air decided to kick on, of course. What I have found is if you go with what the instructions initially said, you know, it's really folding down just an itty little bit, I would say fold it down so that it is prior to the, the halfway mark. You know, not at the halfway mark, but just before the halfway mark. So about there or so, I found works out pretty well. So not quite halfway, all right? There is a little bit of guesswork with this one. So then we're gonna fold his little itty bitty nose. So just a smidge skin, fold it down in the same fashion. Whoop. Fold it down in the same fashion as we did to that center line. Give it a little bit of a crease. And that's going to be his little nose. All right, then we're going to flip it over and we're going to proceed with his legs. All righty. All right, so for the legs, again, there is going to be a little bit of sort of guesswork here. It's not exact. So this is the center line and about here is the halfway mark. So just past the halfway mark, going to fold up. See, this is our center line here. But I, when I say halfway, I mean halfway between here and here. So beyond that, closer to the crease, we're about here or so, fold up. And that's going to be his first leg. Now, to try to get the second one to be symmetrical, you know, just by eyeballing it, that could be tricky. So I have a trick, and that is, whoop, that is to fold your piece in half like this along that crease that we had already made. 
fold your piece in half, then flip it over, and then we can use this as a guide for creating our second leg. So following what we've already done, that way we can create a symmetrical mirror image of what we already have. And then when you open up your piece, they are the same. Very, very nice, very convenient that way. And then fold this and flatten it down again. All right, so now to finish up the legs, I'm going to fold this edge along this edge on both of our legs. So folding it in half. like so, and then do the same thing with your other leg. Okie dokie. And then, instead of folding it this way, we're folding it in the opposite way, bringing his little, his little feet together along that center crease. The little, little button nose, so cute. I told you he was a dapper fellow. And believe it or not, we are actually pretty darn close to being done already. Now what I like to do is really flatten this out and make our creases nice and firm. Flatten them out. All right, now we just have a few more steps and he shall be done. All right, so now we are going to work on his little derriere. So from this point here to about this point here, we're gonna fold this tip down. The angle is really not that crucial, but roughly speaking, using this point as a guide. So give it a good crease, open it up, and then opening the bottom, going to use that crease and squoosh that side and then pinch that inside and close it so that it's going inside. Okay, now to give him a little bit of a tail, you know, he doesn't necessarily need a tail, but to give him a tail, going to grab this right here, sort of pushing it up, so I could be explaining this better, I do know, but basically pushing down a little bit while pushing up. You know, push down with this finger and push up with your thumb and close at the same time. And then down at the edges but you wanna basically pull the tail out and then squoosh it. So he's got a little, little stubby tail. So we're gonna do that again. So it's pushing down close to that fold point, pulling up and squoosh closed. 
There you go. It's got a little butt. Then last but not least, we're going to give his his little ears some perkiness. So just grabbing the ears and pulling them up a little bit. I like to tackle this from the other side, actually. Don't ask me why. But grabbing the ears, pulling them up a little bit away from the back of his head, and then flatten down. Oh, he's so cute. And then, last but not least, need to separate the ears. You know, it's not 100% necessary, but I think it gives him just a little bit more character. So, along this, this crease line here, get a nice sharp pair of scissors and cut along that crease. There. Doesn't have to be perfect. And then you can separate them. You can give them a little bit of a curl, a little bit of extra personality if you like. And there you go. Absolutely love it. And of course you could add some little eyes, some, you know, draw on some whiskers if you're so inclined. I think he's just perfect the way he is. Yeah, absolutely adorable. Alrighty, my dears, so that is going to conclude today's origami tutorial on Little Hamster. What would you name this little guy? I don't know, maybe Filbert. Oh, that's a cute little name. Um, you know, if you like this video, please give a little thumbs up button down below. You know that I appreciate your appreciation, and you know what to do until next time, right? I want all of you to stay inspired, stay caffeinated, stay folding, and please stay safe. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I will see you, yes you, in my next video. Bye for now, everybody, and have a great day.